Hello! So many of you asked me to do a video about my skincare. I'll just give you several random facts about my skincare routine. I'm 33. When I was in school I had a lot of acne. It was 90s. There were different skincare products out there and they said try alcohol, try vodka. You should dry them out. You should kill all the bacteria. So that's what I was doing. There was a cork on my face of dry skin, but I loved the sensation so much because for me that huge dryness equaled killed bacteria and that my acne will go away soon. So I think when I was about 14 and 15 they were gone, but I still felt like this sensation of very dry skin was very good. So I, I never used any creams. When I was 24, sometimes I used some light creams, sometimes I didn't use them. Somebody gave me a cream as a present, I think, but when the bottle was empty, I stopped using cream again. So I was washing my face with a soap and I felt amazing. Sometimes I use some foundation though. And then the funny thing, there is Solarius. I decided, why not? I just wanted to have some tan. I started having loads of small pimples especially and my whole forehead was covered in them. I couldn't understand why. I didn't. I still didn't use any creams. I never unclogged my pores and I never used exfoliation. We went to America. It was in North Carolina. That was very hot there, so I thought, yay, I want to get tan. I didn't know anything about SPF. I was 25. So I was lying under the sun day by day until I got brown. And naturally my skin is very light. Last three years, I almost didn't see the sun. I'll show you the picture. I was brown. I still had those pimples and I thought maybe there's something wrong. Then we went to a ship to a Caribbean sea and there was a cosmetologist and I asked her, what's happening? She said, do you drink a lot of water? Do you exercise? I said, no, I almost don't drink, I don't exercise. She said, do you exfoliate? Do you use creams? I said, no, I don't do that. She said, you maybe should start. And I started exfoliating, but I was so scared that my tan would go away, so I didn't exfoliate as good, maybe once a month. When I was back to Russia, I stopped using the Solarius, so my tan started going away, and I started going to the sauna. I was doing a purification program for my body, so with the sweat, it all started going away. I still didn't use any creams. In one year after that, we went to the USA again, but this time we went to Florida, and you know what kind of sun is in Florida. I met so many nice American girls there, and one of them asked me, do you use SPF? And she explained me that there is such a thing as a sunscreen. I was 27. So I started using some sunscreen. I started using the toner and I used some creams, but not this much. I used regular creams. And when I got back from Florida, last five years I haven't been in a warm country. We have some hot summers here in, in Moscow. I started watching a lot of YouTube. I was trying to find out more about skin, about skincare. My skin started being dry because before it was pretty oily. I started wanting those moisturizing creams. I've been at the cosmetologist several times, more than seven years ago. It was pretty nice sensation because I felt like the skin is moisturized very deeply, as opposed to when the moisturizing cream is only sitting on top. So now I like when my skin is moisturized. Can you imagine that? I have some face washers, however, I can't tell you which one of them I liked the most. I used expensive ones, I used very cheap ones. After all of them, I had that sensation of a dry skin. I don't see the difference. As far as the toners, same situation, I don't see the difference. However, some toners dry my skin more than the others. So every time I buy new toner, mostly I buy cheaper ones. Sometimes I buy some expensive ones in a pharmacy. I just don't feel it works. Every time the cream has a fragrance, like a cheap fragrance to it, I don't like it because it seems like my face gets more swollen and even my eyes get red. So I found Lumine. I'm sure you know this brand probably. They're from Finland and I liked their line for very sensitive skin. I like their toners, I liked their creams, face washers, so it has no scent, so that's perfect for me. I can't say that it made a huge difference, but it left me with a feeling of moisturized skin. One day it stopped working, I don't know why, maybe my skin needed something more. I still didn't want to spend a lot of money on my skincare. And then of course I was watching YouTube a lot and many people said that Korean cosmetics is something else, is something very weird. 
So I decided to try that. I ordered one cream. It says super moisturizing cream in a very moisturizing serum. It's actually very funny because uh, see that it's, it's not a gel and it's not oil. It's like a slime. Propolis. Smells nothing. And that's what I like about it. Really gave my skin very strange feeling, but it really moisturized it for many, many hours. So in the end of the day, I didn't feel like my skin is dry again. Very funny cream. Doesn't smell, doesn't have any color, which I love, love, love. And the consistency is very funny. It's like gel and oil together. Oil is an opposite thing. Gel is basically water. It's like slime too, actually. My skin is not necessarily eating it and absorbing it. It stays kind of on the surface and doesn't let the moisture go out of my skin. That's what I like about it. And then I got some products from Greece. They make very natural products themselves and I think this is very nice because it, this brand is not world famous. They care about the most natural products. I decided so this winter I want to nourish my skin. It's very good to torture my skin a little bit so it would start working good. Oops. Oops. This mask is also like a slime. It has some small particles to exfoliate. When I apply it on my skin, I leave it for 15 minutes and I have a burning sensation that my skin is burning and it's very good. When I wash it off, my skin is absolutely new but it's red. To show you that redness, on this video I just decided to use two masks as a stripes. So you would see that redness under that black mask. Better to do this mask whether in the evening or when you have the whole day at home. This redness stays for some time and then it goes away pretty fast. So And the creams work much deeper after that. So that's what I love about it. I do this mask every fourth or five days. My mom tried this and you know my mom, she's very dry. Her face was like plump and she wants that too so we're gonna order one more for her. And I think it's good to do in the winter time and a cold time maybe once a year. It's like going to a salon to do facials but you can do it actually at home like a course. Just do this whole course. So I love it very much. And also they have that whole kit like Eye cream, the rejuvenating face cream, I use it for day and night now, and rejuvenating elixir set of oils. I use it sometimes, sometimes I don't use it. I use it for more than two months and I only used this much. I think it will last very long. So now I like to give my skin extra something and I really like some brands that are not very famous. I can spend more money once a year probably on that. In the summer I like something very light and just slightly moisturizing my skin. Also very nice products. I don't know, I like them. I buy this here in Moscow. They're very cheap. It's actually one dollar. Moisturizing masks. And I like those. I buy them pretty often. I use them pretty thick layer and then I wash off. And also pretty good masks. They are more about uh, making skin very even after acne or for somebody who has acne scars or acne holes, you know, for that type of skin. And also good for those who start having wrinkles. I sometimes use that mask, pumpkin. It smells like pumpkin. Also burning my skin a little bit, but that's pretty cool. That's basically all I have. I did use some random creams, which were very cheap, but they actually smelled and they didn't do anything to my skin. It stayed pretty dry. So that's my skincare story. Thank you so much for watching. Please let me know in the comments. What is your story? Did you find a product that really helped you? Maybe you find something not very expensive, but the, one of the greatest things for you. I'm gonna leave the links on those products if I find them for you down here. Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys. Goodbye.